I uh, bought this coin sorter right here because I wanted to see how it compared to uh, my favorite or the one I've been using for the last couple of years. Now to start off, this thing uh, runs on uh, C batteries. I've got two of them there. They're both fresh. They go in the back right there. Now to make this thing run, all you need to do is push this button right here and then uh, push it again to turn it off. Now we're going to take a look and see how this thing uh, runs. We're going to put some coins in that I've got right here. Uh, let's go ahead and start it up. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how it runs operation. So I'm going to take the uh, top off there and uh, we'll watch how this uh, thing goes. Obviously, you don't want to feed too many coins into this or uh, it could jam up and take a little while before it uh, feeds and you see the nickel there trying to work its way up, the quarter trying to work its way up. Money's got to, you know, try to find a way to uh, fit inside of this uh, slot right here. Uh, once it does that, you know, it, it kicks out pretty good. And okay, we uh, turn the off button there and all we do is we click on this and we open it right there. And as you can see from this view, we've got our quarters, nickels, pennies, and uh, dimes, of course. It's all nicely sorted out and it fits good in the slots. So as you can see from earlier in the video, this obviously works good. It's operational. Uh, you know, we could, we could use this. Uh, but what I'd like to do is compare it to uh, this one right here and see uh, which one is faster. My gut says uh, this one right here will be, but uh, we'll... Uh, compare it here and what I'm going to do is use a simple uh, quarter test right here. I've got two stacks of quarters right here. Uh, this one's going to go into this machine right here and this one's going to go into that machine right there. So let's go ahead and uh, get this test started here. As you can see, the uh, one on the right we, uh, completed it faster, uh, but this is actually going at a reasonable pace and that got the job done as well. So, after thinking about this for a little while, uh, one of the things I've noticed is they both take uh, the C batteries and two of them, so they both have the same amount of power. What sets this one apart from this one is it's got a wider uh, range, or the, the circle moves more, has uh, covers more area, and it moves around at a faster rate than this. Uh, set up with a conveyor belt right here. As you can see, I'll turn these on right here. And you can clearly see the circles moving at a much faster speed, and that's what uh, one of the advantages it has to, to sorting. Now, if you put the circle model on this one, uh, that would sort just as fast as uh, this machine. So, uh, clever ingenuity as to how it's set it up. Uh, you, know, you know, a nice angle wide circle. And that uh, circle allows it to go uh, at a little bit faster rate than this one. Uh, once again, you know, this is going to be the one I'm, I'm using uh, going forward. But, uh, yeah, this is not a bad machine. This one is actually pretty nice. Uh, one time I accidentally dropped a key in. So you can see right there. And, um, well, I didn't know I dropped a key in. And I did not know that I dropped a key in for about six to nine months. Because it kept running and working every time I used it. I didn't know there was a key in there until I uh, took the top off and uh, found it.